Hey Smokers, Drog1 here, and today we're going to be doing a screen cap recording video. Um, you know, I have a lot of old Macs, and I could run, you know, an, an, almost any copy of Mac OS any day of the week. But uh, way back in the day, probably had to be 2007 sometime, I discovered Sheep's Shaver, which was a um, uh, incredible thing for me. I was looking for the perfect emulator that could emulate something a little bit newer than System 7 or prior, like Mini V Mac did, to play essentially classic environment level games, but kind of a space in between Mac OS 10 and System 7 essentially. So when I first discovered this like 10 years ago, uh, I was really intrigued, and I really wanted to make videos about it. And in fact, I actually did start making a video about it. It was actually about installing Mac OS 8. But I couldn't help but put Linkin Park in the damn video. Yes, that's actually what I was working on. It was pretty, pretty dramatic. I had a very strange, angsty teenage life, I guess. Either way, we're going to come back and actually tackle this because it has sort of confused me a bit. Just because I could never get it to run just right and it had this temperament and I had to make the fresh install of System 8 and then if I did anything to modify it just wrong, I had to reload that image again because it got corrupted and then it would become unbootable. Since then, it's been updated. There's The one we're going to use today is the one that comes with the the UI, the GUI, you can see that right there, the GUI version, and it's apparently a 2013 release. So it's been updated a lot. This is the Windows build of it. Um, now, if you're on Mac or Linux, I believe there are builds for that as well. You can find those. Um, this is probably the, the easiest to get, and uh, link is in the description for it. Um, now, there's a couple things here that need to be a part of the package if you are getting Sheep Shaver. Again, again this is um, this is the Windows GUI package. This is everything that comes in it. It has the Mac OS ROM, um, I guess New World and Old World. We will be using the New World one. Um, you need a copy of an ISO image of the operating system. Uh, and then, of course, uh, that's I think that's pretty much all you need. Uh, the, UI, the, the GUI version takes care of all the heavy lifting. So let's go ahead and launch it here. Um, this is probably the most useful portion of this whole thing. Now, previously, using stuff like Mini V Mac, although it is an excellent piece of software, it doesn't have anything quite like this. This actually gives you the option to make disk images for Sheep Shaper. So I can set however big I want it. Let's make it uh, 80 gigs because I don't want to go past that 100 gig mark. I know that those classic Mac OS don't really like it that much. Uh, so we'll go ahead and make that um, call a hard disk. Or how about we just call it SSD because we're actually this is actually on an SSD. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And it's already, as you can see in the background, it's already been created. We've now lost 80 gigabytes to nothing right now. That was probably that's very very fast. So okay, which is actually that's. I don't really have that much space left on this SSD, so we could be in trouble. So, um, what do we got here? Uh, boot from any. So, we got that. So, now we have to add. Keeps going over there. Our Mac OS 8 ISO. All right. And that should be everything we need to do. But first, let's actually look through the rest of the settings. Graphics and sound, uh, type, window, we do want it a window, we don't want full screen, that'll go pretty nasty. By default, this was set, window refresh rate to 7.5 hertz. You can do 5, 7.5, 10, 15, 30, and 60. We're going to try 60 to see if we actually record in 60. This video is going to be in 60 FPS. If you're not seeing it in 60 FPS, it's probably because something went wrong and it looked like crap or it didn't make much difference and it ran at 30 anyway. Something tells me that since I've got a much better computer than I did back in the day, it's going to be able to handle this pretty well. Um, going to make the window 720p because the resolution of this video is 1080p. I don't want the borders going off the sides. You could make it whatever you want, I guess, so I could make it work. But quick draw acceleration, 
you can disable sound output if you want. I don't think we're going to do that. Um, scroll wheel, serial stuff. Now, there is some networking stuff. I'm not going to be setting this up right now. It's for file sharing and stuff. But with the way we're going to do it, we may not even need to do that. Um, I don't know why this didn't save from last time, but I'm going to give it 256 megs of RAM. That's for other stuff. I think every, pretty much everything else we don't need to worry about. So now let's go ahead and try to automatically detect new removable media. Okay, we don't need to do that. So uh, that should be everything we need, and we'll click start. Ah. Uh, so that pretty much means that it can't be installed on this. So, piss. Okay, so it turns out I'm an idiot. As much as I wanted to use and make a French installation of macOS 8, I'm kind of dumb because macOS 8.0, as far as I can tell, or at least is available from WinWorld, 68K only. Sheep Shaver is PowerPC only. So the first version of macOS 8, I believe, that was... PowerPC compatible was 8.5. We're going to do 8.6, just because I think that's a little bit more of a cleaned up version. Again, let's jump into the Sheep Shaver GUI here and make sure... Yeah, I was trying to try the English version as well. Uh, okay, so I think everything else should still stay the same. I don't know why it wouldn't, but... It's changed before. Yeah, that's saved. Okay, so this should be it. Let's go ahead and start. Um, the system software on the startup disk only functions on the original media, if not copied to another drive. The fuck? This, my friends, is why I think Sheep Shaver was a pain in the ass. Or... When it comes to old Mac emulators, I mean, the the only reason that uh, Mini VMac is so easy to set up and use is because it deals with much simpler computers, I believe. This was a sort of awkward phase in Apple's history, and this sort of stuff ends up happening. Or, this is just my luck, as most of you, I think, are aware at this point. Have you ever played Doom on Nightmare? No, go ahead. Go pause the video right now. Go find a copy of Doom. Go play it on Nightmare, not Ultra Violence. Nightmare. Try and get through the first level. Maybe if you're good, you can get through the first level. And then when you come back, then you can sort of be on the same level that I am in terms of frustration. Because when it comes to really making these videos as a whole, I run into so many problems. And it's just one after another after another. And, you know, the real truth is that's what IT is. That's what um, troubleshooting a lot of different things are, whether it's your dishwasher or um, your car. Car's a big one. But computers are, you know, this whole other beast. And But it seems to be, like, when it comes to troubleshooting these things, I'm set on nightmare mode pretty much all the time. And I, I swear, everything's out to get me, man. So uh, let's let's try something else here. Let's um, open this again. Let's keep poking around. I've barely even used this software for years. So let's remove this. Let's start. System software on the startup disk only functions on the original media. So that probably means that the ISO has been loaded to... Um, the ISO has probably been loaded as a hard disk image by this. So this is probably indicating that um, it thinks that all of the files that are on the CD are being presented to the computer as, or the virtual computer as, if it were on a actual volume itself. So it doesn't actually like running its installer off of a hard disk because, you know, this, this could actually be a form of like anti-piracy stuff. So how do we fix that? Well, we have to go back into um, and yes, I'm having to force quit that from Task Manager because there's no way to close it uh, that I know of. There's probably a key combination, but I haven't looked it up. Um, so if we look here, we can um, boot from CD-ROM. Now, right now, I don't have any CD-ROM drives connected to the computer, 
but I can set up power ISO so it will host this image. So let's remove that. Let's re-add our SSD image. There we go. So that's going to be a hard drive, but we're not going to even attempt to boot off of that yet. So I'll set up the ISO image right now. You can actually, you can actually just mount it from Windows 10. Just mount, oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, you can't mount it from in, in Windows 10. That's the other problem. It's a Mac ISO. So how the hell am I going to mount that? I probably fucked. Oh shit. Well, I fucked up Windows Explorer. Oh my god. So here's the advantage to actually doing this on the Mac platform. You can just mount shit and it'll work. This apparently is a little bit more of an uphill battle. So the alternative is to find another download of Mac OS 8. I guess I'll keep digging. Okay. So be glad I spared you the waiting time of the download for this. So we're doing a little bit of risky thing here. Um, I've downloaded 904, Mac OS 904. And uh, what that is, is the latest version that Cheap Shaver can run. Why is an 8 working? I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and try this. Uh, oh, crap. So let's save the old settings. So yeah, don't do that. Back to the UI. So we'll remove this. We'll add 904. We'll add SSD and oh my god, let's hope it works this time. Everything else got saved. Let's start it. What the fuck? Well, um, at least it, we made the number here change. I mean, that's nice, right? <gasps> Holy crap, this is kicking me in the balls, guys. It really is. It doesn't want me to win. It, mmm, I see what it's doing. The only other thing I could think of doing is taking an image of an actual OS 9 CD and using it like for some reason it doesn't like these images i mean these images are probably fine i've never tried them but I'm, they're probably okay um i have an os8 disc that i know i've used for some other video uh, i could rip the image and then uh pray that it works but guess what you know what this is gonna happen anyway because this has to do with something else i'm doing wrong i didn't excel somewhere else along the process and i just don't know where the hell to start i'm sure you guys are familiar with this the drago one does about five seconds worth of research and finds out and uncovers another clue let's dive into it so one thing I read is to go up here, go to Properties, and then actually make the ISO read only. And, you know, whatever. I thought it was going to be presented as read only to begin with, but maybe Sheep Shaver is just stupid and doesn't present it in that way and just treat, like I said before, it treats them all as mechanical hard drive or just internal IDE, whatever. Um, so again... We'll go here, boot from any, start. Oh, what do you know? It actually fucking worked. I would have never figured that out. Thanks to the Immaculation Wiki and like five seconds of research and it just crashed. Are you serious? Oh my. Okay, well, at least we can do this. We can go here and we can get rid of this because I don't want to use one that this, that new. We'll add the... 8.6 instead. We gotta make sure 8.6 is read only. Ah! What do you know? Now everything's working. That's, that's actually pretty good. So everything went to plan except one wrench got in the works. You got to use something that's a little bit older, because I knew 904 was just going to be a little too new for it. It was just pushing the, the boundaries. 8.6 comfy, um, newer than 8, newer than 5, needs to be in the power PC zone. Um, 
and then everything just works. I I don't. Is there? Does it really matter at this point? W will it pitch a fit if I do it any other way? Um, I don't know. Okay, so this is it. Oh, did we even hear a sound there? No, I'm I'm hallucinating. Okay, all right. So th this is this is it. This is where we're going to install it. Look at all these goodies. If you click here. I mean, I mean, we've done this before on the channel a lot. We've done a lot of OS, um, classic OS installs. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. So this occasion wouldn't be complete without, um, you know, without some, uh, I don't know, Linkin Park or something? Uh, uh, continue, continue, customize. Now I could English speech recognition. You could go through all of these. The hell! I don't. We don't really have a way to get audio into this. I don't think. Multilingual internet access. Probably need that quick draw. Quick draw McGraw. Sure. Customized removal? What the hell is all this? Oh crap, I'm misclicking like crazy. We'll leave everything else as it is. I mean, you I believe recommended installation is just with all of these checked. Is it just some important things I want to make sure it's able to do? I think I'm just being overly paranoid here. That's not going to install everything. That'll give us in an explorer. Okay, 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 okay. Rap, 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 rap. Okay. So let's start. And hopefully it's not over before. Uh oh, it's stealing my mouse cursor a lot. Let's throw on the Link Park. Problems were encountered accessing the file sr.gif on the disk. Okay. Oh, sometimes when you're in other windows doing other things, it will just steal your mouse back. But you can still move it off. So, so right now we're going to try it again. Come on, baby. Hold together. Look at that. I'm <laughs> I'm just moving it constantly to the right. <laughs> it just keeps coming out of the side. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go slower so you can sort of see the effect. Okay. I think every time the screen updates, it steals the mouse back. There's not enough space on the disk. 700 and... 7,000... What? 7 megs available? Skip. I've no, no, no. I don't got time for this. Stop. Stop. Get QuickTime Pro. What the fuck is this? So something went wrong. I don't know what it is, but it went wrong. Well, it has a fully a whole system folder. Is it bootable? I don't know. Uh, shit, did it download? Did it install all that stuff that fast? Did I really? Did I really just witness the power of the SSD? 4.9 megabytes available. 4.9 megabytes. What the fuck? Where did all the space go? I had 80 gigabytes free on this disk. Where did it go? I don't know. How big is the system folder? What is this? Come on, come on, come on. What is this? Control click. Come on. Let's. No, no. Let's get the info. 62 megs for the system folder. Uh, I have to do it this way because apparently right click's not working. And yeah, capat. 
70 megabytes? Did I make a 70 megabyte drive and not a 70 gigabyte drive? Or 80? Am I that stupid? I guess I am, but at least it, like, tried. <laughs> okay, well, let's shut it down. And uh, try to pick our luck. Yes, I am that stupid. You see that? It says kilobyte. I thought it said megabyte. God damn. Holy crap. This this is reaching a new level. I think if, for all those guys who caught that and have commented already, uh, have fun talking to other people in, in the comment section. This is, this is going to be good. Okay, so... <laughs> So, in megabytes, it says it right there, in megabytes. I clearly, I can't. So, 80,000 megabytes. Uh, 80 G SSD. Let's just call it that and save it. And remove that and add this. Bam. And we're, we should be good. Start this shit all over again. Don't worry, I got the Linkin Park on standby for this. Uh, oh, great. Now it won't even let me format it with anything. Uh, Mac OS standard 0K. What went wrong this time? Oh, because it is 0K. What? What? I, what? 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 Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. It's not hard. It's not. It really, it's not. This is actually pretty easy. Look how fast 8 is booting. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with that. Um, so, okay, no, I didn't, I don't want you to do it again. No, I, re I really don't. Just stop. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know, it's okay. Just, oh, Where did I go wrong? I don't know. Maybe I can't count. Let's create another one. Okay, how much? Let's do 40,000. 40G SSD. Okay, and then let's let's look at what we've done. It's also zero. Okay, fair enough. Let's create another image. Let's make it 1,000 megabytes. Will it do that? 1G SSD. Oh, it did that. So maybe it's anything higher than 30 gigs. Let's create again. 30. Maybe it's like Fat32 or something stupid like that. 30 G S S D. Nope. Yep. Looks like the maximum size you can make is like 1.29 gigs. It won't put anything bigger. I mean, I can install it on that size, so we'll, we'll do that because I don't know what else to do. Okay, let's start it. I like it that it doesn't lock the cursor down and you can move stuff around. You don't realize how handy that is. Yeah, okay, one point two. Jesus Christ. Nah. Gosh, SSD. Initialize, continue. Okay, so now it should have enough space to install it. At least I can hope so. I'm not going to modify the install in any way anymore, except for the speech recognition. Except I don't really want to do that because, okay, available disk space, space required for basic installation, 180. So, what will it tell us how big the installation is after the fact? I don't know. Let's agree. Customize. I should really let this all be. I mean, quick draw. Whatever. Let's start. I like how it started installing. It didn't even check to see if there was enough free space left. Did you notice that? It just said, oh, it failed. And it, like, half-assed it. I mean, I mean, I, I, I give it some props for trying, but, I mean, come on. It's, everything is... This is a garbage-in, garbage-out scenario. You know, this is definitely all user error, but... Some of that error could have been mitigated by a better software design, but I can't criticize the software design because the the GUI for 
Sheep Shaver was actually made by not the guy who made Sheep Shaver, and the guy who puts out Sheep Shaver wasn't even the guy who actually made that, and he was actually the guy who, that just sort of lifted it out of BOS, and I, I don't actually, I don't really know that well. Um, so, and then it's all it's all free, so I, I mean I can't really blame anybody. I should be thankful that this exists at all, but um, the, now there's other ways to make disc images. I don't know why this fails so hard at making disc images. I don't. Um, but it at least makes an image that's a gig in size so I can install it and we won't have problems, I hope. And really, that's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to install um, the operating system so maybe we can get like a game or something running like Kidpix so that I can use Kidpix whenever I want on my main computer. And uh, that would be great, but it's... I don't know if this is going to work. This is um, it's a little a little troubling. Wait, is this the is this the main installation? It's like almost done. Well, just in case, let me start playing the music if it will let my cursor leave the I didn't even get a chance to start playing Lincoln Park. What the f Cause I couldn't get my cursor on the well, it was fast, and I appreciate fast and nice and quick. I'm very, very happy about that. Okay, but, uh, uh, okay, all right, let's quit, because I'm done. All right, shut her down. <clears throat> and now, we will go back into the GUI, and we will remove this. Oh, remove. And we will start. And now it is booting off of the image we just created. No more ISOs involved. And there it is. And now it's going to want to go for the first time setup assistant. Um, do I have any other language options? No. It's for network identification and stuff like that. Is that my... Uh, uh, okay, I don't really care. No, we do not want Simple Finder. I'm, I'm really not even reading any of this. Um, mainly because it doesn't even matter if you set this up or not. It's, it's really just a formality. Man, even back then they were trying to sell people on QuickTime Pro. I like how well that worked out. So at this point... Um, how are we going to get any kind of games? Now, my games are on physical media. If I try to insert the discs into this computer, I'll run into some problems. Mounting it, pretty much not going to be possible. I can still use Power ISO to um, rip it, I'm pretty sure. And then I can mount it in this. And we should be golden. Um, WinWorld PC uh, has kid picks on it, I think. It's got Age of Empires. Age of Empires for Macintosh, PowerPC, Gold Edition? What the hell, man? Hey! We got some good shit here. Uh, hold on. No, I don't want... No, the Gold Edition is not for Mac, actually. But, Age of Empires 1.0 is, and it's probably a demo, so... We're just gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll be downloading it while I'm waiting for this shit to finish. I don't know why it's not, but... I guess it's going to be locked up, considering that there are no network devices, and if they are, they're probably not that very well compatible, and it's going to have a problem, and I should have closed out of this, because, as I said, it doesn't even need to be run in the first place. Oh, God! I can't even option command escape, because I don't have a command key, because I have a Model M. Oh, I could get another keyboard. Just for the sake of irony, or whatever you want to call it, I have a Mac keyboard. Okay, option, command, escape. Ah, oh, shit. Option, command, escape. Delete in task manager. Let's see if it'll still start up, even though I just freaking crashed it. Now it's going to verify. Very bad idea to do that to HFS. It's 
it will corrupt it, and that's probably what I was doing before. Okay, we're back. The sound does not appear to be working. I don't, I'm not really surprised. It apparently works on Mac, but uh, like if you're running this on a Mac, uh, I'm really fighting an uphill battle doing this on Windows 10. So I've, I'm really surprised with their progress so far. We got a lot further, a lot faster than I expected. And whew, I mean, the mission mostly accomplished here. Will it run Age of Empires? I don't know, it's not done downloading yet. You're gonna love this. It's a bin Q. It, yeah, that's right. It's a bin queue. What a... Oh, my. It said ISO. Well, let's see if it can use bin queues, because I... I don't think it can do bin queues. That's, that's going to be a stretch. At this point, the only way I'll be able to push that is to, like, manually move your stuff over. And I, for, it'd take, like, two max to do it, and I, I'm unwilling. Not after the scanner video, yeah. Not after the scanner video. So here we are. I got uh, the bin queue here. So let's shut this down. Because we got it. Add the bin file. Will we add the queue file? We will not add the queue file because it should actually just find it on its own if it has any sort of sense. But when was the last time you saw virtual machine software that used bin queues and liked it? I've never seen that before, ever. Well, time to prove me wrong, sheep shaver. Come on, let's do this. Oh, it thinks it's a hard drive. Lovely. Yeah, I guess what I forgot to do. I forgot to make it read only, because that's the only thing that tells it that it's a CD. And now it's probably like formatted or something. Okay, read only. All right, so it's read only. Hell, we'll even make this read only. Properties. Why don't you get your read onlys here? All right, start. How fast just how just how fast is this boot up? I don't know. I haven't timed it yet. I'm going to in a second. It's definitely faster than any fuck. So bin queues confirmed for not really working that well. Alright, so here is here's the files. We can actually see the file system there. Um this looks pretty promising, except I can't do a damn thing with it. So new Convert to an ISO file. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, it'll probably work, right? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I didn't even know I could do that with that software, so let's try it. Uh, where the hell is it? Age of Empires .iso. It lost a good, lost a little bit of weight there. Uh, <laughs> Must be all that uh, awesome compression stuff it does. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, let's not forget to make it read only. Time it. It's probably like 10 seconds or something. <clears throat> there it is. Holy shit, that actually worked? No way. That, do you realize how far fetched that was? Oh my god. I mean, it might not actually install. Let's, let's give it that. But the fact that it actually showed up, I gotta say. Props to Power ISO for being able to convert a bin queue to an ISO and then it making it work on Mac OS not on 8.6 in Cheap Shaper. 
Wow. I mean, that's an interesting time to be alive, guys. Certainly. Now, let's see if it'll install, which I kind of doubt it. Let's do the custom install. Uh, the large install will probably not work because it probably will request files that are not there, but it apparently succeeded. Um, if you have finished, re click restart. Welcome to quick time. How the fuck off? I don't want it. Oh no. Save internet video. Think different. Wow. 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 Uh, I just think it might be broken here. Yeah. Well, this is this is technically ooh Apple Talk. <laughs> yeah, let's Apple Talk. Well, this is this would be cool. Hey, I should do a multiplayer Age of Empires video for Max over Apple Talk. How fun would that be? Sometime later, we'll do that. Maybe. Okay. Well, the CD's still mounted. Apparently, its anti-copyright crap is kicking in because. I don't know. It should. This is a perfect image. It installed the game. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, it's CD. You know, CD's right there. But uh, so yeah, it works. I guess I I would love to play it. It looks like it would play just fine. To be honest. But we haven't seen anything that's not just gooey. I need to see a game. We need to play something. We need to see how well it'll hold up for playing old Mac games on your main Windows PC. Do I have anything, though? I don't know if I can actually get it working. Now, we got Doom. We always have Doom, and it always works pretty much all the time. Uh, well, let me plug in. How about this? Well, how about I plug in my CD drive? And I'll see if Sheep Shaver will be kind to me. Okay, so I got my kid picks. However, it's a version that I... It was not the original version I had that I know is the good one. This is another one. It could be an older one, but uh, I don't know if it's actually the one. So we'll have to see here. I'm putting it in the drive. It is a mixed mode CD for Windows and Mac, so that could throw things off a lot. Sheep Shaver, CD-ROM drive, let's do F. And it's, yeah, this is kid picks. So it's probably gonna load the Windows version. Um, let's remove this, start. Uh oh. Start. Ah, balls. Start. Yep, it does not like my CD drive, probably because it's a USB one. Fuck. So that means we'll have to make an image, which, you know, we got power ISO right here, so we'll just do it. The problem is, is it has not detected that it's a mixed mode disk, and it's only going to copy the Windows version of it. So that means I would have to use a Mac to make an ISO of this, and then copy it over. 
damn it, every single time, another Mac has to get involved. And that's what I think is going to have to happen here to make the ISO of the kid picks. And uh, that's, that's annoying as hell because I don't want to do that at all. So, oh well. I guess I'll go do it. Well, that was a fun little escapade. Remember how I said a little bit earlier in the video that I'm not willing to do something with Max because it's going to take at least two Max? It happened again. Um, what happened was the first Mac I had to actually use to rip the CD didn't actually recognize its CD drive. So then I went to my next Mac, the iMac G5. I turned that on, realized it didn't actually have its SSD in it anymore. So that wasn't going to work. So then I had to use the PowerBook G4 from the, uh, the video about the thing. I actually forgot what that video was about. But the, uh, the uh, PowerBook G4. I inserted the disc. It ripped it just fine. But any volume I plugged into it, any USB drive with any format, it reported them all as zero bytes available, zero bytes used. Couldn't copy anything off the machine. So I made both of those half-broken machines that didn't have a full feature set in terms of what I needed them to do and used put them together to accomplish my task. I had to put one, the PowerBook G4, which had the, uh, where the fuck is it? Kid Picks CDR file on it. I target disk moded it and opened it with the first computer, the iMac, that didn't have the working CD drive, and then I used that to copy it onto a drive to put it onto this computer now. And so now CDR is equivalent to... So, yes, and then we launch this, and then we add, and then we click this, and we click OK, and then we click Start, and that is how it works, okay? All right. Oh, my God. That would have made a whole video in and of itself, but I am getting faster at burning through these things. All right, there's the KidPix installer, little bastard face thing. The hell even is he? He's just a square. Alright, so here it is, kid picks. We're done. Commission accomplished. Oh my god. It's not really fun without the sound effects, as you probably know. It's a little it's a little laggy, but probably no more laggy than it was on an original no actually this is this is actually faster than normal come to think of it um this, these are well, a little little frame drop of that no, i don't really mind i think some of these actually some of these effects actually purposefully lower the frame rate of the drawing based on what they're doing so that it doesn't generate them too fast because some are really high frame rate like this others are slower frame rates this is a higher frame rate one so you know this one will only do one every couple seconds or milliseconds or whatever. Uh, either way, so this works. You can see that this is working. We're inside Windows 10, kid picks. I could screenshot this right off the window because fuck trying to get pictures out of this. And even if you did save a picture, it's going to be in kid picks format or some sort of Macintosh picture format. You're not going to be able to open it to save your goddamn life on Windows 10, so just screenshot the screen, use a lossless screen capture program, it's gonna be exactly the same. That is if you can get your ISO of kit pics on the fucking computer first. Good lord, did I have to bust my ass to do that. So what other games do we have? Well, now that I have the two machines working in a nice little cooperative mode, why don't we get Doom as well? and get it on this and see how well Doom runs because to be honest we don't have enough space to do something cool like Unreal and uh, it's the only thing that ever comes to mind. It's the only thing we ever play on the channel is just Doom so might as well keep consistent so I'll be back shortly now that I have my system down. <sighs> Alright so I'm back. Let's save a picture. Okay. Alright. So let's close out all this. Shut her down. Oh, it crashed. That's convenient. Okay, so now we have Ultimate Doom here. It's probably going to be the same old song and dance. Business as usual. Go to right here. Get rid of this. Although we can have as many connected as we want. I just don't want it to, like, lose its shit and break. Start. And again, we could, well, I'm just plowing through this. I mean, I'm able to really click on stuff, really throw things at it, get it going instantly, bam, 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 and it's 
It's a joy to use, and there's Ultimate Doom. Let's see if it will install. Uh, probably having some error because it can't play back sounds. Will it not install because it can't start up sounds? Let's try and hold Alt while we open it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm just trying to launch it. Okay. Let's just install it first. Uh, getting ahead of myself. So, let's not even install that. Let's install it. Again, SSD to SSD should be way faster. Remember the G4 Cube video? We had to wait forever for this. It's only going to install three files. And it might not even start up at all. <laughs> okay. So, let's restart. Fine, I'm okay with that. Fastest restart and ever. Ultimate Doom. Ultimate Doom. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do shit because it <laughs> because it needs sound. You need some sort of sound or it will not start. So that was a waste. But, you know what? I could do this all day. You know, I could go through all the games until I found one that worked. And you know me, of course, it's not going to work. And if we want to get this done in a reasonable amount of time, we got to do something more drastic and more daring. So what are we going to do? I've got a little plan. It involves this little beauty right here. Yes, that's right. Let's remove that and let's add that right there. Start. Ooh, it doesn't like that one. God damn it. I know why, though. It's this character. I bet you, I bet. Oh, fuck. I removed the main hard drive. God damn it. Okay, it keeps cascading up into the corner, and I really don't know why. That should work, yeah, because it didn't like the trademark character. Whew. Wow. This is a battle. I'll tell you, I'm fighting every way through this, but we are actually going to do this. Yes, we're going to run an emulator inside an emulator. Woo! That was fast! What the fuck? Oh my god. Ow. Oh. Ah, crap. I forgot what the serial number was for this. Okay, I managed to get the serial number. Um, if you really want it, it's taking a soft Windows 95 on Winworld PC. Um, soft Windows 95. Soft Windows 95. Do we have this? Is this working? I hope so. Yes, register. Hurry. We don't have much time. Oh my god. Is it really going to do it? Holy shit. It's doing it. <laughs> oh god, don't crash on me, please. Please don't crash on me. This is really important. Oh my god. Oh, would you fuck off? I don't want to. Oh shit. It crashed the whole thing. We're going to have to try it again. I'm I'm craving this. I need it. Oh my god. I'm so close. I can feel it. Oh man, everything tries to stand in my way every single time, but I'm telling you, this time I'm I got this in the bag. I really do. If all these stupid pop-up registration bullshit would go away, I would... It's probably the stupid turbo start shit is getting in my way. It's pissing me off. Oh, my... Oh, at least I can do this. Uh, maybe safe mode, because... Don't crash. Don't crash. 
don't access a portion of the CPU. You're not supposed to. Yes. Oh my god, we got it in. We got it in. Be awesome, you know, right around now if it could, oh, you know, play back the, uh, Uh, it does, of course, it doesn't have any of the drivers for the mouse, so, and I don't have the uh, emulate PC mouse, so, okay. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I know it's right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. I did not know that. Quit crashing Explorer. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh my. My god. Jeez. This this is bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I'm just going to shut it down because <laughs> you guys shut it down now. Okay. Launch it again. We're not going to do Anything else here? Oh my god. Please don't crash it again. 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 Oh no, the turbo start is gonna fuck me over. I clicked here and it crashed. Come on, yes! There's the Windows 95 desktop! I can't believe it! Okay, alright. So what are we gonna do? Paint, of course. <laughs> How well does it paint? Hey, that's not bad. That's really not bad. That, ooh, out my eyes. Okay, well, uh, no, don't say it. Uh, okay, so how about, uh, ga games? Solitaire? That. <laughs> well, just so you are aware, this is a Windows 10 error. Um, Sheep Shaver requested the runtime to terminate in an unusual way. Fuck, man. A solitaire, too, too many layers in, too much inception. <laughs> Well, this was fun, guys, um, and fun little escapade through the world of Sheep Shaver, and it, it is definitely clunky, but it is reliably clunky, and if you throw it the curveballs in just the right way, it will do what you need it to do. Um, sorry we couldn't get you any gameplay footage here today. It just takes way too long to try and test game after game and then have it not work for whatever reason. So no, I don't, also don't know how to really get the sound working. I didn't really even look into that. Uh, graphics and sound. I could click disable sound output, but it's already like it's disabled. So maybe if I try this on a different platform, like if I try this on Mac, it would actually work better. But oh well. Now when it starts it anyway, you close it. You just have no choice. Just fuck it. You're done. So yeah, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, this was fun. Uh, really, this was surprisingly good. I was actually worried I would actually get this working, but instead, I ended up launching Windows 95. So that's that's more than I uh, anticipated for sure. So um, yeah, you can do everything you saw me do here today, with the exception of maybe Doom and maybe Kid Picks, and sometimes it crashes, of course. Um, but pretty much everything you've seen me do here today. Some of the links are going to be in the description for the, the package. Uh, some of the packages may actually, there may be some weird stuff, but uh, this should be everything. All this stuff is freely available online. You could do, you could, even the soft windows, that's on WinWorld PC. You can find your OS installs there. Just Google the stuff for the Sheep Shaver. You'll find it. You're crafty. I know you are, so you can get it done. Um, and thanks for, as you can see, this, this folder has definitely like tripled in size in terms of how many files is in there and a lot of failed attempts of getting stuff working. Again, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.